let's pick the top three baits I think you should be using in the month of January to catch giant bass. Happy New Year. It's 2024. Holy cow. This is the time I think you need to get out there. Go fishing. Do more fishing this year. And have fun. Enjoy the outdoors. If you can do me a favor, click that subscribe and like button and become part of the team and part of the family. I really do appreciate it. So we're going to look at the upper, northern, middle, and the southern states. And unfortunately, if you're way up north, you're probably dealing with snow and ice. So if you can find open water, everyone is going to tell you to use a crankbait. I think you should use that. But in the middle and in the southern states, we're going to talk about the three baits I think you should be using to catch more fish. It is winter time. The fish are lethargic. The water's getting clearer. In some places, they're drawing water because that's what happens in the middle of the country. But there's fewer people on the water. If you're way down here in the south, I hate to say it as I record this in the middle of, well, the beginning of December, I think the fish have spawned. I think December is the month when spawning happens here in Florida, depending on what the water and the weather is. And I think it might have happened. In January, it's time to slow down and downsize our baits. Throughout the country, a suspending jerk bait is going to be phenomenal. It's going to work great because you can slow twitch that bait and pause it. The longer you pause it, the more bites you're going to get. I want to give you three baits that I think are not really common, but you need to put into the whole your whole presentation or what you're going to use when you get on the water. I will say a top water walking bait probably isn't the right thing to use this time of year. Not that you can't catch them with something small that just walks really slow, but a top water bait's going to be pretty hard because the water temperature is just not conducive to what the bass are looking for on the top of the water. As I said, everyone's going to tell you a crankbait is perfect. I agree, a crankbait is great. In that seven to eight foot diving range, I think you'll find fish eating that nonstop. But let's try to find three other baits that I think you can slow down with, be a little more finessey, and use and catch a lot of fish. When the water is this cold, the fish are getting lethargic. Also, the grass is dying. But if you can find grass, you're going to find fish. Bass don't want to go a long way to eat. They're not going to be terribly aggressive to chase down something that they hear or see from a long distance. Now, it doesn't mean they won't, but right now, bass are only eating one or two times a week wherein when the water's really warm, they're probably eating every day, maybe twice a day. But right now, they're not. They're trying to find a place, or they're kind of looking for the next stage of what's going to happen for them. They're trying to find fish, but also find a place where they can start to spawn, either if you're down south right now, or as the water starts to warm. Because fishing in January in colder water, is it can be really tough. There can be some giants, some real giants. As I do this video, a buddy of mine caught 30 in Lake Apopka last yesterday that were all over four pounds. And that's pretty impressive. And we're having a real cold front come through. And by real cold front, I think it's 52 degrees outside. So like I said, if you're in the Northern States, you're probably dealing with ice and snow, but if you can find open water, you're, you might find fish. And if you're in the middle of the country, the first bait I think you should use is a lipless crankbait. Now, when you use a lipless crankbait, make that cast, just make a slow twitch, not a, a zipping twitch like you're trying to go through grass. Just lift up your rod like a yo-yo and let it go down. And let that nose sit on the bottom. Let it make that rattle noise, sit, and let it pause there. Don't be aggressively jerking it up and down, your rod tip up and down let it do its job and let it sit. So my second bait I think you should use in the southern states is a drop shot or a Ned Rig. I think if you're using a drop shot and you have a little bit of current, you're using a bait that has just a little bit of flutter, staying off the bottom will entice a bass to eat it. You're not working it real hard, you're just slowly working it, slowly moving it just a little bit so it has that action. If you're using it, if you wanna use a Ned, you're just bouncing it and letting that Ned just sit and just stay and just bounce a little bit. You don't wanna make aggressive twitches with it. Slow down. I was once told years ago that when you're fishing and you wanna slow down, think of a very slow song, a slow country song, not a rock and roll ACDC, Pearl Jam or whatever song. You wanna think of something slow that you can think inside your head 
and just really slowly twitch that bait off the bottom. And my third is an a small swim bait, a small micro swim bait, something in that three inch or below size in length. You want to use something that's going to match the size of the shad that the bass are eating. The bass aren't huge right now. They're small. They're trying to group up and find places to hide. And that bait is going to be the same match the hatches kind of style that the bass are looking for right now in January. Now, if you're down south, I suggest the same swim bait, but put an underspin on it as my first bait. I think something that gives a little bit of flash because we're gonna have really clear water, something that's the right size, the right dimension, the same shape of what the bass are eating is crucial. I think that underspin adds enough flash and a little bit of vibration in the water that the fish will eat it. So make that cast, slowly work it towards back towards you and just keep it at a, as slow of a pace as you can. Even just barely keeping it off the bottom will be successful. A lot of times these bass right now are trying to find a place that they can find a harder bottom and a place that they can spawn. They're searching for that, that upcoming Tinder date and they need to look for a good spot. So just use that swim bait, good kicker tail, and even a little ribbon tail won't hurt be bad either. But get a bait that has a good kicking tail. The Largo Shad is really good. There's a bunch of them, bunch of them that have come that have come out recently that are really good exceptional swim baits, especially small swim baits. But match the hatch and catch lots of fish with it. My second bait is a jig with a beefy critter trailer. Now I picked this one because the further you move south, you're going to start finding a lot of people pitching and flipping into mats and grass and other things. Get that weedless jig with a big hunk of trailer on it has kicking tails and cast it into that thick stuff. Bounce it through it. Let it drop through and let that bait do its work and just twitch it or yo-yo it up and down. Make those cast, cast after cast with that bait caster and do work with it but a jig is gonna be unbelievably successful in January. And my third bait for the Southern State is a Gee Crack Emo Kamushi. Now, this one is gonna surprise everyone. Now, the reason I picked this one is as bass start to spawn, this Gee Crack Kamushi is incredibly deadly. It is very slow pausing bait as it sinks through the water column. This is extremely deadly for fish that are looking for bedded a place to bed or are bedding or defending a bed this is a bait that when january and february come around down here in south florida i'm using a lot i don't know what makes this little turd hair clog bait work so well i don't know if it's the scent i don't know if it, it's how it very slowly falls in the water column and has this little shimmer to it i don't know if that's what it is but bass crush this bait it's a little pricey i'll be honest with you it's a little pricey but you can make it weedless, it casts a good diff distance, and it's exceptional, it's beyond exceptional. I think it's one of the baits that is not recognized at all for most anglers, but the Emo or the Gee Crack Emu Kamushi is absolutely fantastic and deadly in January. So those are the three baits I think you should be using throughout the country, excluding up north, and I hope you catch them. Again, Happy New Year, Thanks for hitting that like and subscribe button. Make sure you take a kid fishing. Get your fish on. Comment below and tell me which three lures you're going to use. I'll talk to you soon. Cheers.